You're probably familiar with PowerPoint as something you can use to help you give a presentation, but you may not know that you can also turn a PowerPoint into a really attractive ebook. So I'm just going to show you real quick how to do that. I'm starting with a blank presentation. The first thing I'm going to do is change my slide size. So I will click Design, Slide Size, and go to Custom Slide Size. It's automatically set on widescreen. I'm going to change it to letter paper, 8.5 by 11 inches, and change it to portrait. Choose Maximize. And now this is going to set it up in the same orientation and size as a regular piece of photocopier printer or handout paper. I'm going to get rid of these automatic text boxes to start with, and now we just have a fresh, clean piece of paper. So I'm just going to show you a few basic things that you can do to make this look like a book. First, let's add a little bit of color. I'm going to hit Insert, Shapes, and I'm going to just put a rectangle in here. I'm going to click Shape Fill and just pick a color for that. I'm going to get rid of the outline. So this is just a bar of color at the top. Maybe we'll put another bar of color along the side. Suppose I don't want that blue to be on the top. What I can do is click on the green, right click on it, and choose Bring to Front and that'll put the green on top. I'm going to give my book a title, insert a text box, put it right up here. Right now that's pretty tiny so we will make that bigger. I'm going to make it white and I'll change the font style. Then we need some text. If this is a book it should have some text so we will add another text box. I'm going to make the size of that smaller and choose a different font. Now, If you're used to seeing PowerPoint with very large words because it's just sort of a bulleted list, this is a very, very different way of using PowerPoint. But the real difference between PowerPoint and something like Microsoft Word is that I can take this text box and I can move it anywhere on the page that I want. It's not going to, you know, reorganize itself or anything like that. So PowerPoint lets me take any of these elements and move them wherever I want them to go. So it's just more flexible for something like this. So let's suppose I want to have two columns of text. Maybe I want to have this here. And I just copied that box and pasted it over. And you can put quite a bit of text in. I can also insert an image if I want to. I just go to the insert menu and I would just resize my picture or I could even crop it and then resize it so that it fits nicely into that space and it's starting to look like something like a, a newsletter or a book. So I've got one page that looks sort of done. What if I want my second page to look similar? What I can do is just take that slide over here, I click on the thumbnail, right click on it, and choose Duplicate Slide. Then I get the exact same style. Maybe on this second page I want to rearrange things a little bit. I want to go maybe with this thing over on this side and move all of these elements over here. I'm clicking and holding down the Shift key to select all of these things and then just using my arrow key to scoot it over, move the title, so all of these things can be moved to wherever you want. Maybe I'll replace that picture with something else. And maybe I want to organize my columns the opposite of the way I did it on the last page. So I'll move this one over here, move this one over here, and take this and put it over there. So now I've got a second page. So you can see how I could do this with multiple pages. And whenever I'm finished and I'm ready to have this actually be a book is first I would need to make sure that I have saved my work as a PowerPoint because it would be terrible to lose all of that work and never be able to change it again. And then once it's saved as a PowerPoint then I would save it again as a PDF. In my version of PowerPoint I'm automatically hooked up to um, Adobe to make PDFs. If you have this option then choose that. If not just click Save As and see here where it says PowerPoint presentation I can change that to PDF. So now, so I've just opened the PDF. I'm going to just reduce the size a little bit. And now that is exactly the same thing I just created in PowerPoint, except now it's sort of like a little ebook. It's not the kind of ebook that you can read on a Kindle or a Nook. This is an ebook that is just a PDF ebook. So that is how you take a PowerPoint and turn it into an ebook.